SEC wanted to run. Teams like Alabama and Arkansas and even Conzo Martin's Missouri team running more than he's ever run as a coach in his life. Where Arkansas was really good last night. They, they took Kentucky's best blow, I think, of the season. They got out of Rooks Arena with a one-point win. That's Kamara on the glass for begging to get thrown out. Yeah, and they, yeah, he he finally did. <laughs> Walked over, got his fist bumped with hugs, and went right back at it. <laughs> that, that, was, that was tremendous. Contested jumper, good. The Bulldogs in this game. Might be as good as any guard in the country. Nearly seven and a half assists a game. Nobody in a power conference has more. He's been a double double machine this season. Johnson with the turnaround. Good defense by Edder, who's been heard from fans. Shout out to my man Austin Pym, alerting us that right there below Tennessee on the score. They're 13 and 4, not 13 and 6. So that's really good eyes by Austin Kim. Ball Twitter, known for its attention to detail. There's Vescovi. Ball <laughs> Twitter's good now. That, that, that's as good as we have in college basketball, shutting down that part of the floor. A little bit different with that Pons on the floor, one of the best shot blockers in the game. Pump fake. And a penetration by Keon Johnson. That was his old miss. Yeah, you got to keep him Kamara, off the offensive glass. I, I think he's really good at his second shot. Matter of fact, I know he is. Fulkerson double. Out to Keon Johnson for three. At 8 of 16 on layups now. Scobie dealing with some traffic. Fulkerson looking for the spot. Oh my goodness, Keon Johnson! Your Wheeler, pardon me, Katie Johnson got his hands in there for the takeaway. Lost his footing on the way up, trying to muscle his way in. Johnson, <laughs> try for number two on the top ten. Wheeler got it, three-point play. I'd get up on it. I, 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 would, I would pressure that ball right now and make those Tennessee guards bring it up with some, with some heat. Johnson tracks it down. Here's Fulkerson. Shot clock at nine. Back to Johnson. And a block from behind. They'll get Kyer for the foul. Tom, that they're the only team in the SEC that's been ranked the entire season so far. <laughs> A couple of bad offensive performances. They've been very consistent, and that's so good. You know, press, press, press right now if you're Georgia, right? Press, Absolutely. trap, double them up, scramble the game. Get him, go get him. Our show double, but backed off. He did. Can't let Tennessee keep taking this clock down. Fulkerson trying to keep it alive, he does. Ends up in the hands of Johnson. Well, you know, he and Czar have a relation. They played together on the French national team and played against each other on the scholastic level when they were in France. Deion Johnson with a nice shot fake. And he above rubber <laughs> as we speak. Oh, wow. Ahead of this yeah. rivalry game tonight. Maybe that's the guy. Who knows? He might have stuck around, gotten a ticket, and got inside to watch his fouls in a 14-14 tie early on. And there is a denied career high 27. Bank shot for Jacob Toppin with Fulkerson on the bench. Picking up the two early fouls. Deion Johnson swoops to the goal. Missouri has still lost that game. That was one of their better games shooting the three. In and out for Mintz. Now you can see based on those numbers, anything that Kentucky gets from behind the arc is almost great. Deion to the ball tonight. Great open look for Zarr and he delivers. He's in double figures. Olivier Saar for the eighth time this season. And John Calipari nearly unbeatable when winning by, by leading by double. Down the lane, up and up away. There he is. Little Skywalker time. Little excitement. 
just like the Bucks tomorrow when they beat those Chiefs. Who you said it's impossible, <laughs> Mr. Schultz. You told me it was I impossible knew that was against the Saints. You told me it was impossible against the Packers. I'd say it again. Problem in terms of foul trouble. He fouled out, scoring nine points against Missouri on Tuesday. He's fouled out three times and had a handful of other games. You no, know, Fulkerson and Pons, they're two stalwarts, the two seniors you expect to produce. What are they, like one for eight, two points between them? Turn around him. See, Kentucky makes turnovers at the crucial times. That's been a story in sheer losing the course of this season. No, they have not. And you know, eventually teams have to change and, and, and evolve as the season goes on. And both these teams here tonight have done it really on both ends of the floor. Georgia especially defensively. There you go. Fulkerson right on the floor. Wheeler looking for somebody. Trying to get it to Etter. It was intercepted by his own man Garcia. Chance for Tennessee to push. Here's Viscovi to clean up with an offensive foul before he received the pass. Fight for it. Wheeler gets it. From the corner, Horn. Over five minutes now without a field goal for the dogs. Tennessee. All the testing that they're going through, all the precaution those guys are taking as caretakers of our game, and protectors of our game. And we all thought back in September, October, there'll be a lot of games with only two officials, and we'll lose one during the game and finish with one. Has not happened. Yeah, not nearly at the rate that we thought. And these guys, now, first of all, the best official for tonight. Wheeler trying to reverse it, gets stuck under the rim. No, George is going to have hot hands with this basketball right now. If you're Tennessee, if you're Viscovi right now, get your butt to that defender and create distance to not allow another live ball turnover if you're Tennessee. They got one. Yeah. Just not strong enough with it. He opens up a gap. He can't wait. Saar from the elbow. In and out. Saar really shoots Chance that for Tennessee to cut really this well. down to two, maybe one. The lob inside nice to Eve Ponds. Shot fake. And he's able to finish. And early in the second half. Oh, nice fake. shot fake. Allows the flyby. Can't knock it down as Kentucky has been stuck on 58 since we've had about 12 minutes to go. So about three minutes without scoring. And pop. Ask you. Finger roll is good. He's done a really nice job today. Let's give the kids some credit. I mean, askew has been really maligned big time by many of their people on social media. But today he has responded in a positive way. It's spacing against the trap. Rick Barnes, seven and five. This, if he wins this and his holes out, it'll be his third win in Lexington. Four in Knoxville and one in down in Nashville in the tournament. Johnson splints the oh. double team. Vescovi hits a three. To Kick out. Three from the corner is down. Well, a good job by White recognizing that Eve Pons likes to leave his defender. He gets a lot of his blocks. On the weak side, help. Good recognition by the big man. And so Luis Rodriguez cans his first look from deep. This is Keon Johnson. Freshman from Tennessee gives to Santiago Viscovi. It's more than two a game. So you start imagining the amount of shots altered, you know, and the intimidation factor going in the length when the opponent goes to the rim and throws it away or takes a bad, tough two. Bailey up top puts it in a shooter We got guys like that? Victor Bailey with starting experience this is Sia James Certainly a starter coming off the bench. This is a very dangerous bench for Tennessee Johnson moved a lot this evening off the bench and remember He's playing more with KJ Buffin a starter out today Missing his first game of the year So Ole Miss's rotation with C now on the bench a bit short. Oh, bodies up against Fulkerson. Oh, he kept the pivot foot. He nailed it. That is great footwork by White. Fulkerson did everything right. And then he relaxed a little bit with the fake spin, and White got right back to where he wanted to be. The Atlanta native 
starting his 106th game with a, a, a timely basket. And Pons... Abaji. That's in and out. A turnover. But what they did today, they scored 12 straight points to end the game. They went down. I mean, LSU is in great shape to win that game. And all of a sudden, 12 straight points, and they win the game. Texas Tech. And how about Oklahoma without Austin Reeves fights off Alabama. They've now got three wins against top ten teams. Yeah, and Lon Kruger doesn't get enough credit. That guy's been, it's been looking for more efficient offense. They think they found it by putting their foot on the gas because they haven't been, Jimmy, a very efficient half-court offensive team over the course of this season. No, they have not. And you know, eventually teams have to change and, and, and evolve as the season goes on. And both these teams here tonight have done on out of Etowah High School in Georgia. Oh, we're close. Etter trying to fight for it. Wheeler gets it. From the corner, Horn. What he lacks is his ability skill-wise offensively. Look at this behind the arc. Look at Kentucky. You know the funny part about it? You know Bob really rare? They made nine threes for 20 against Missouri and still lost that game. That was one of their better games shooting the three. In and out for Mintz. Pons kicks one out, and Jaden Springer knocks one down. Springer really impresses a lot of people. The last game he had a bad game was one for seven against Ole Miss. Up for the last five, six minutes. Depending on how close you are, if Kentucky opens up a gap, you can't wait. Saar from the elbow. In and out. Miller deep, Brady to Miller, touchdown, Bucks win, baby, the Bucks win, Hello. Yeah, let's go Bucks, baby, let's go Bucks, I can't wait, yeah. I can't wait to go there tomorrow, baby, you see this football, this football, yeah, what? Are two post guys, you can isolate, and Pons really showed that, as you mentioned, against Kansas, creating for himself in those isolations, and 17 points, the shot looked automatic, really silky smooth the other day, He's an excellent defender as well. This is Robert Allen who has to give up top. Late in the shot clock. Joiner looking for something. Rodriguez, fadeaway J. And good job by Johnson. Get in the lane. Penetrate kick. It really is the case for Tennessee this year. Balanced, spread production. Anybody can beat you at any given time, anywhere around the floor. Rodriguez, another deep look. His foot might have been on the line. I'm going to join the Jordan camp on this one. <laughs> yeah. Down two. Springer. Johnson. Five seconds. Puts it up. Fouled. Kidding me? Bernard King and Ernie Grunfeld. I'll tell you right now. There's no Bernies and Ernies on that floor right now for either team. They eventually became teammates with the Knicks. Abaji steps back, does not get the roll. Pre-game warm-up, and sometimes that doesn't really matter to anything, but just watching him for about a 10-minute stretch, he was talking, his, his body was lively, and the liveliest guy on the floor comes up with a big play. Barbridge starters for Mississippi State, Cameron Matthews started the first six games, have been coming off the bench. He's back on the floor to open the game for Ben Howland's squad. Stewart with a shot clock at four, gives it up. Here's Molinar and Vascovi. Both times the shot clock has been illuminated for Mississippi State, and then a foul. Man to man, all it really does is try to confuse you, eat up a little clock, and make you hurry or make you make a bad read, which is what it did. What I found well, offensive rebound comes right into the hands of James. Execute their defense very well. Woman now with eight. Fulkerson looks to answer. Another basket needs a bounce. No. Good offensive rebound by Johnson. Feet up on top. Ford did a great job defending it. Wide open here. You're going to make it. Bailey misses and in a sickie grabs it home. Out there, Springer having a great, great game. And there's the turnover again. This has been Kentucky's problem. Late in games with leads. Look at this. After shot. He oh, has been shot. electric tonight. 27 points for Keon Johnson. Johnson and Springer, both have been electric.
They got like, what, I don't have the stats in front of me. They got about 45 in here points, do they not? 27 for Johnson. He was minus 12 in that game overall. Playing with a sore hip. Seven footer had his hands out. Mm -hmm. Little leaner. Abdul Abdu battles for it. And he throws it away. Inside. Kamwa's got five points. He, he's really played well on, on both ends of the floor. He's held his own defensively. Vanderbilt leading it 1917. Again, getting off to a very slow start. They trailed 7 to 2. And it took uh, Vanderbilt a while to get in the book. A couple of free throws by Pippen Jr. But now they have done a much better job as Vanderbilt spreading the floor and getting good looks and knocking their share down. Uh, slip off the floor. Next year. He, he's all about Tennessee. And his game just continue to grow and grow and grow. I mean, he's going to have nights where he goes for 20. Then he'll have other nights, Ravi, where you look up and he's got six points, but he had, you know, four blocks. His guy scored at about a 20% rate. Boy, it's hard to win ball games like that. And I like what Arkansas has done. They they watched that Alabama film and what did Alabama do to Tennessee on Saturday? They spread them out and turned the game into one on one. And so far, number 11 for Arkansas rebounds. Former five-star prospect. His brother Jaden actually is a walk-on. He said it's great having him. He's not on this trip, but having his brother with him in the program has made him more comfortable. Stronger. They've gotten deeper, and so it's the same old hard hat type Conzo Martin style of play. And they've got some big-time guards. Ranks 239. Down Fulkerson. It's up an air ball. Abdullah Du. May have taken a shot to the eye. There's a block. Ten line on the season. State ball down five. Stay up. No threes. Stay up. Gets to the rim. Block. They'll count it. Give us. Between the two sides. Give me a sleeper this year in the SEC. Maybe a team that nobody's talking about. Can't go Kentucky. I'm almost willing to rule out Arkansas, but who you got? Yeah. Um, you know, I still think Alabama has yet to play their best basketball. Uh, you've covered them a couple times. I want to remind you, if you have tuned in, looking for Mississippi State, Mississippi Valley State, that game has started over on the SEC Network alternate channel. Go to SEC. Keon Johnson, they're going to have great careers because of the way they take pride in defense. Lock drafts for next year's NBA draft projected as first rounders, but they really don't act like it. I mean, it more seems like you know, they're kind of that gritty two or three star player that's glad to be at an SEC program. Yeah, that's what assistant coach Desmond Oliver was talking about. He says, you know, they don't talk about the NBA draft. They talk about getting wins as a team. They talk about playing hard and making plays and Johnson trying to create some space. Tough shot and a really good defensive sequence by Cincinnati. And here comes the Julius quickly to the other end. And that ball rejected off the board. Team. I mentioned Edder getting some run. Nice feed inside and give him an assist and a feed to Garcia. Now we've seen it with Pons in Rupp Arena. Right now it's Folky. You come down on Folky, and George is going to make sure that Folky feels bodies on him on that touch. Man, a clean kick out and a clean look. Kind of odd to see a Georgia lineup without Severe Wheeler on the floor. He's third in the league. 34 minutes played per game. And the offense looks different, as well it should. It's like if you go to a, a, a backup shortstop in baseball, your defense is going to look different. One of my uh, favorite parts, by the way, of Tom Sikobiak's game notes every game is uh, what he does digging in the historical archives when it comes to the series records. Not easy to do against Tennessee. They're usually pretty good about getting their body on your body. They go attack it. That's a really good play. The kick out. Rick Barnes pointed out he's a lot of severe wheelers to score points for Jaden Springer, the freshman. Back to back big games by Springer 23 at Rupp now 24 tonight. Wheeler trying to reverse it, gets stuck under the rim. Oh, 
on the bench with two, and just like that, his replacement, Olivia Kamwa, commits a foul as well. So you get some front court foul trouble with Eve Pons and Fulkerson. That could open a door for Olivier Saar to do some damage. Well, you know, those veteran players are so important, those seniors, and those veteran guys. He's going to shoot the jumper, and man, he could do that. See that nice stroke? Kentucky only averages 5.2 made threes per game, 318 in the country. They've already made two triples early, and there's started the game early and scored big in the first 10 minutes against Ole Miss. In the second half, they went like in a drought. <laughs> Mentioned Missouri a little bit earlier. What a big win today beating Alabama. I'll tell you what, yes. Quanzo Martin, he's going to be coach of the year in a conference. He's doing a great job with that Missouri team. Foul called on the rebound and just about traveled. As he was able to get the ball off to Davion Mintz before he dragged his pivot foot. Off the curl, wide open, but off the mark. He's had two fouls called on moving screen. Fouled out in 12 minutes against Missouri. Eon Brooks pivots. Sets up Boston. That comes up short. 